like no can kind of mean like, eh, maybe. Students reacting tonight to a new law coming to California. The law commonly referred to as the Yes Means Yes bill will change the way sexual assaults are investigated on California college campuses. KCRE 3's Mike Lurie joins us right now to show us how things will be changed with the stroke of this pen. That's right, Golson. California is indeed leading the way with a new law just signed by Governor Brown. It redefines sexual assault and flips the status quo from no means no to yes means yes. To Sac State Junior Hyshina Jones, the new law will make all college students safer. I believe that people have to say yes. I think it needs to be consensual. Yes means yes is the new code of conduct on campus, where assaults are not always reported to authorities. One in five female students will be assaulted during her time on a college campus. Under the new law, silence or a lack of resistance is not a green light to proceed. Most of the time a guy just assumes that since she didn't say no, it means yes. So I feel like that's a good thing for both parties to be like, oh yeah, we can do this. Are you okay with this? Yes, I'm okay with it. Under the new rules, there can be no sexual activity unless both parties give what's called affirmative consent. That means... Then you need to wait for them to give you an enthusiastic yes. So yes, this is yes, I really want to do this. Yes, this is a great idea. Yes, that sounds really good to me. Versus um, some sort of ambiguous answer. In the past, even a no answer was often yeah. misunderstood. Like no can kind of mean like, eh, maybe. But like, I feel like yes, it's much more like... They know what they want, like they know what they're saying yes to. Under yes means yes, students will learn the nuances of consent, and schools must train faculty members who review complaints how to ask questions in the right way. The University of California has already established an affirmative consent standard. UC set this policy in June, so this is a standard that we now follow, and really this puts policy underneath what our investigators were already doing. California college students will be the first in the nation to have this new protection statewide. It's two people. It takes two to tango. So if one person doesn't want to, then that's considered sexual harassment. And so if both of them completely agree, then so be it. And the new law applies to both public and private colleges and goes into effect on January 1st. So there's so much to this. What about uh, the consent? Does it, does it always have to be verbal? It does not have to be verbal. As you know, there's a lot of ways to say no in a nonverbal way. But a yes can be revoked at any time by either party. And under the new law, it's never okay to proceed if someone is drunk or unconscious. So lots to look forward to in the new year. And, and a lot of conversations between parents and their kids. You I'm better sure. believe it. All right, Mike, thanks.